The next software I want to talk about is tube compensation software on the Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator. Tube compensation software is really a software or a breath type that is trying to compensate for artificial airways, whether it be an endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube. It does basically a very simple process by looking at the size of the endotracheal tube and the theoretical length of it and looking at a lookup table of flow to determine how much pressure support it would take to overcome the imposed work from the artificial airway. So let's look at setting that up. I'll go under the vent setup mode first. I'll go under spontaneous. It does work under SIMV or spontaneous. And it really is an invasive uh, spontaneous breath type as well. And then I'm going to touch right there, TC. And you'll see the primary variables that it does pull up. So there is a percent support of the, uh, how much the operator wants to set in terms of overcoming the airway resistance uh, and the work associated with breathing through artificial airways. So you can adjust that anywhere from 10% all the way up to 100%. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 100%. There's your normal sensitivity, O2 percentage, high peak pressure alarm, so I won't need that much obviously for this scenario. Here's where you get into the inner diameter of the endotracheal tube. And then you also have, is it an endotracheal tube or is it a tracheostomy tube? So once again, you put in the size, the inner diameter size, as well as the type of tube. And then finally, we've seen this uh, before. Uh, if it's new to you, it's the high inspired Tolovim alarm limit. And once the patient actually hits this limit, the breath actually will truncate and stop. So I'm going to set that at a liter for right now. I've got the PEEP setting, so whatever your PEEP setting is. And then I also have an expiratory sensitivity setting, and I'll leave that at 25% in terms of ending that breath. So I'm going to hit accept all. And now we'll monitor our graphs here a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to adjust my scale a little bit on my pressure graph now because we're looking at smaller uh, detail. So as that patient pulls more aggressively, what you're seeing is that it will actually deliver more pressure the more flow comes across the endotracheal tube. So it's using that lookup table, high flow, more pressure, low flow, less pressure. So this software monitors the patient's inventory flow every five milliseconds and then adjusts the delivered pressure accordingly. With that, I would refer you to the operator's manual for additional details around the tube compensation software.